This year's project is to get to the edge of space and back again. Our space vehicle will be a custom design and will house two cameras, a GPS tracking system, and a platform for collecting particles in the atmosphere. We will get to the edge of space via a weather balloon and return to Earth by high altitude parachute. Failure is not an option. snips. Okay. I don't want them yet, but when we do want them, we're going to call for them. Okay? I need somebody to run the helium. Uh, uh, Go ahead. You, you got it, Dean. Open her up. Whoa! You guys hold on to Yeah, I don't care who lets go at this point. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, baby! All right, we don't have enough lift yet, but we got Wait, some. Don't let it touch. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, no, no. Turn the, turn the balloon. You have to turn the balloon. Right, yeah. Which way are we doing? Are we uh, this way? This go one. this way. This one. Okay. I don't care how you do it. Go. Here it is. It. Yep. 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 Yeah. Go ahead. Go. Go. Stop. Just stop. I'm telling you right now, I've never done this before. Tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put these in two separate bags. We'll put one bar in the camera, the other bar on the opposite side. All right, so three and three. We'll try and wait them out. You guys can masking tape these to the side. These are what are going to the edge of space, baby. We're gonna have these for the rest of our lives. Let's do it. You know, a story I've always I've told the kids in this class was I had one dream in my life, and that was to be an astronaut. Um, 
it's a dream that my parents could never wrap their hands around. Um, and my parents fear fear. And I've always said to kids, you can't be afraid to do anything, and you truly can't fear fear itself. no money at all. So I really want them to realize that they can accomplish absolutely anything they put their mind to. I always say to the kids, I don't know the word no. I don't know the word can't. I don't know what this word failure is all about. You can do anything you want. I think the whole thing is best summed up um, in that I gave one of the students a ride to the train station the day after so she could go visit a friend. We're sitting in the car and she said to me, Mr. Sermo, she said, this is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. And I looked back at her and I said, well, I'm 59 years old. I said, this one ranks fairly high up on my, uh, on my list of things to do as well. And she said, it means so much more when you've done it yourself. 